Welcome back to Wynn Stadium in Wollongong for this round nine clash between the Steelers and Western Suburbs. It's a very, very cool evening here on the New South Wales South Coast. Everyone pretty much rugged up. A few hardy Steelers fans have braved the conditions this evening. Very, very clear night, but uh, Steve Roach, who's a, a bit of a local down here, desperately cold. Yeah, it certainly is. Big southerlies blow down here generally every night, but, uh, but the hardy people are out there on the hill and they certainly love their rugby league here. Not quite sure whether he's cheering or just keeping warm as the Steelers take to win stadium. And there's been a few changes to the lineup for this evening's contest. Rod Wishart comes on to the wing to replace Paul Rossi. Wishart just four points away from a thousand points for the Illawarra Steelers. McGregor goes into the centres with Craig Simon. Jonathan Britton's on the other wing. Barrett and Robinson are in the halves. Walsh, Purcell, and Craig Smith are up the front. And it's uh, Craig Wilson and uh, also Terry Lamy and that man there, Brad Mackay, who comes on to the back for the Illawarra Steelers. Yeah, and what a player he is too, Brad Mackay. Cleans up so well. Been a very good player for the Illawarra side. They've been waiting his return, I'm sure. Paul Langmack comes out this evening for his 305th game of first grade rugby league. Started back in 1983 with the Canterbury Bulldogs. It's Brett Wharton who replaces Brett Hodgson at the back. Darren Willis and Asseri Lang are the wings. The McGuinness brothers in the centres. Coxon and Jones the halves. Darren Fritz comes on to play his first run on game for the Western Suburbs Magpies. And what a relief it'll be for that man after all the trouble he's had with North Sydney. Cherry Mesher and John Scandalis are the rest of the front row and it's Damian Kennedy. Uh, Paul Langmack and, of course, Jason Keogh, the rest of the Illawarra, uh, the Western Suburbs back. Desperate stakes for the Western Suburbs Magpies tonight. <coughs> Just one win so far in season 1998. And we're underway. First touch of the ball was for Rod Wishart. What a relief it'll be for him. Yeah, it certainly will, Roddy Wishart. I suppose he's come back a little bit early just to see if he can get into that state of origin side. He's been a great player for New South Wales. And a big performance tonight will put him on the front foot. Here's Brad Mackay taking it up over the 30. Tackle by his former teammate Fritz. Down just five metres out. Darren Fritz again prominent in defence. Shows the ball to Robinson. Barrett the ball in behind. Here they come through Simon. And the Steelers are in in the first couple of minutes. Well, too easy there for the Illawarra Steelers. They worked in the middle of a park with a strong run there from Smith. And just a simple set play there, a second man play here from the Illawarra side. And Trent Barrett, who does throw a beautiful ball on the left-hand side of the attack. Here's the switch of play. Now watch the ball from Barrett. Here's the second man play. Full back in to make the extra man. And that is just shocking defence from the Magpies. Too easy for the Steelers. Craig Simon goes in for the first try after only four minutes of play. One of their greats as he moves in. And he just can't curl it around. So the try remains unconverted. And Illawarra now lead Western Suburbs by four points to nil. Callaway. Well, I came here hoping I'd see a good open game of football. So far, I'm not disappointed. Bradstreet will play at 30 out from the Magpie line. And he won't get an opportunity as Damian Kennedy is penalised. Paul Langmack huffing and puffing. Penalties against your side. The dumb penalties. Play the ball stuff. Not going back to 10 metres. Your position now is acting captain. Because to tell those guys what I want, I'm not going to tolerate much more. It's been a long time since Rod Wishart was a fixture of the Illawarra side. This is just his second game of the new year. He Perhaps likes it. No, nope. The rust is just starting to show. Again, he's wide. And Wharton. North Sydney didn't want him. The Magpies, on the evidence of the first 19 and a half minutes, are really enjoying him. McGuinness frees it up on the outside for Mills. Around. And Mills will score in the corner. Ah, oh, the Magpies have hit back. But we will go to the video referee. Well, it's Jonathan Britton who made the right things so far. Has he got the ball down before? Try. I'd give that a try. Beautiful try. Let's have a see if the video referee has got his glasses on tonight. Dennis Spagarino. What do you reckon, Sean? Fair try, Ed. No problems there at all. Good on you, son. You're absolutely yeah, yeah. right, Sean. You've picked it again. You got 
One from one. So Jared Mills. The Maggie's back in it. Anyway, that's levelled it up. The Magpies, the attempt to go right from the sideline. Wharton moves in. And he's brushed it across the front of the posts as well. So no joy for the kickers so far this evening. And it's all tied up here at Wynn Stadium. Illawarra 4, Western Suburbs 4. He'll play it on the 40. Robinson. Through the hands it comes. Wilson. Wilson back over the top for Barrett. And Will Robinson. And the Steelers are in for their second. Ah, oh, that's a great try. Well, it was Paul Langmack on the fringe of the ruck who missed the initial tackle. He would have carried him over the line if he had to. Yeah, a tremendous hit back there from Illawarra. The Western Suburbs have got that try. Look at that ball on the inside from Wilson. And the Gregor saying, Willie, on the skipper, put it under the holey. Moves in. This time he's kicked it. Another two points to the Steelers. So Illawarra now lead Wests by ten points to four. And Coxon, it is, he'll play it 15 metres out from the line. Langmack, he attacks the line for McGuinness. He'll stretch and score. You called it, Block. Well done there from Paul Langmack. He was involved three times in that set of six tackles. That's what you need from a captain. Beautiful running right to the line. Watch Langmack hold the football out in front. This time McGuinness gets on the outside of his man, stretches out, and the Magpies are back in it. Frank Simon's already scored one try against McGuinness. Ken McGuinness returns the favour. You talk about pride, those sorts of things will play on it. This is Wharton. And again, he brushes the posts. So no successful conversion. The lead, Illawarra, is two. And Illawarra leads West by ten points to eight. Oh, great ball! Here's Ron Jones, and he's got McGuinness on the outside. He Ron won't need him. Jones will run all of the way, and the Magpies will take a lead into halftime. They swarm on him now, against the run of play. And the Magpies have hit back and hit back hard. Well, I was just about to say how good Damian Kennedy's first half has been. It has been outstanding, full of power for running. A couple of Illawarra players go high here. Beautiful one-handed pass. McGuinness looms up on his right-hand side. I don't need you. I'm going to go all the way. Look at him. <laughs> oh, he's got 21-year-old legs. And look at him. He's prepared to smile now. That's his first try from out of absolutely nowhere. Denied him. The try on the line. Tide's turning. Oh, is it ever? The kick successful. They'll take a good lead into the halftime break. Western Suburbs now lead by 14 points to 10. Put in, put in. The Hooter sounds. He'll come back for another scrum feed. It went against the head. This time, Mackay will take it out of the back. He'll take the tackle and will take a break. It's been an entertaining 40 minutes of football. The Steelers went to an early lead, but the Magpies have hit back a couple of times. And we'll go to half time here at Wynn Stadium with the Magpies leading the Steelers by 14 points to 10. Paul McPlain, I should say, will get us underway in the second half. Illawarra side really needs someone to roll their sleeves up in the forwards and take the like of Scandalous on. They've been allowed just to roam through their middle of their ruck. That's been the biggest problem. Robinson. Barrett. Wilson picks up McGregor. He steps inside, can't get past McGuinness yeah, and Langmack over the top. Good tackle there from McGuinness. Well, that wasn't played. That was just knocked out of the hands. But the Steelers hot on attack now through Craig Smith. Well milked. Oh, wait. Right in front of the touch shot. Well milked there from Smith, the Siri Lang going on with the tackle. It's potentially a significant moment for Rod Wishart. He's been with this club for 143 games. This is his 144th. And with this penalty, he could raise a thousand points, which is precisely what he does. And the lead is now cut to two. The Magpies, 14 points to 12. Thanks, Steve. Let's see how they defend here. Thanks, Sean. 
Purcell stretches and scores. Or is it a double movement? They're going to the video replay. I'm checking for. It's a double movement. I have a rough idea that it is. All right. There's Fritz stretching out. Just knocked him off his momentum. Actually, no. I would say that's a try. We're all waiting. All right. Well, Paul McLean had his doubts. He did the only thing uh, available to him. He went to the video referee, and the video referee starts to work on his second thousand points for the Illawarra Steelers. From straight in front, he kicks it home. So the Steelers retake the lead here at Wynn Stadium by 18 points to 14. Playing back there in defence. Robinson, long pass, finds Wilson. Wilson steps off the right foot. Runs straight at the defence and crosses between the posts. We'll go back to the oh, video referee. Idea. He may have been held up. Mesh is there now. This is the angle that'll tell us. No, That's wait. held up. Held up. We'll get the right decision. No and time. we have. Robinson goes the blind. It comes for Barrett on the open side. He feeds McGregor, who senses the gap. Pushes off one. Oh. Gets the pass in behind. Well, they couldn't hold on to it. I've got to say, that would have been the ball game. What a try that would have been to wish out. It's the five minutes, he refuses to come off. Gets on the outside, McGregor so strong, there's the flick. Might have been oh. a bit hard, we might be a bit hard on Wishard. That was a hard ball to take. Well, what about the vision of Paul McGregor to even be able to throw that ball? They lead by four, the Steelers. They work it to the left for Barrett. Shows the ball, the gap opens over the top, it goes as simple as that. That's a Craig shepherd. Simon's in for his second. It's a dead set shepherd. You have a look. Wilson gives himself up when he runs around him, when he impedes him. Let's have a look at it again. The Magpies, they work to the middle of the Illawarra side. Watch them run around and watch Wilson give himself up. Look, watch him throw his hands up. That's a shepherd. You can see Cherry Mesher there in the foreground throwing his arms up as well. Well, how unlucky are the Magpies that they've only got themselves to blame. Bouchard on the right side for his round the corner style. Puts it straight through and extends the Steelers' lead. 24 points to 14. Last tackle now for the Steelers. The kick over the top from Reeves. Gets in behind Langmack. There's all sorts of trouble there. Uh, downward pressure from the Magpies. Oh. Darren Willis, who got the football first. Wishart could have capped his return with a try. It was a perfect kick from Brendan Reeves. Beautifully weighted. Langmack is there in defence. His involvement in the second half has been outstanding, Brendan Reeves. You watch every time Illawarra are trying to come out of their own end. He gets in the dummy half and runs the football. <laughs> Why do they keep trying to... He's tackled on the 20. They work it to the blind side. They have the numbers there, but it goes behind Walsh. They keep it alive, the Steelers. Fritz there in defence, along with Radonikis. Out of the play, the ball is Callaway. Robinson! Here's Lamy to score. The Magpies can't come back from here. What a pass there from Clint Robinson. He went right to the line. A good gap running, running there from Lamey. They just quite simply worked in the middle, just go right at the line. Great ball there. Who's that caught in no man's land in defence? There's Callaway. He's made the difference since he's come on from dummy half. His little scoops. There's Lamey. The good thing about that try to Terry Lamey is that he ran the angle. Coming back. Caught. The Magpie defence flat-footed. It's McGuinness that gets that overreads the play. You've got to tackle the man with a football. Picked one just a few moments ago. Out that side. Brushes the inside upright. Two more points to the Steelers. The lead now 30 points to 14. And extends it into Magpie territory. Slow play the ball. Callaway again, has a run from dummy half, gets straight through. Good run. Well, he gets called out for a high tackle, the second man over the top, it's Lincoln Rodonikas. Callaway Jerry? hasn't moved. Are you acting captain? 
Listen to me, are you acting captain? Okay. What's your number again? Alright. I'm not going to place the player on report, okay? I know the guy was falling to the ground, but I'm not going to dismiss him, alright? So what I, what I do suggest to you is when you come into attack, you aim a lot lower, okay? I'm not getting any problems. Listen, I know that. I'll go to the penalty because he struck me in the head. Right. Yeah, no problems with that, but I'm going to put him on the report. Right. Right. From referee Paul choice. McLean for attacking the head of Dean Calloway. <laughs> Calloway, to be fair to Radonikus, was falling over in the tackle. Calloway's made a difference. Will Robertson at halfbacks had a mighty game. Those magpies are significantly over the 10 metre mark as well. As Wishart adds the extras, two more points to the total, 32 points to 14. Like Pearl and a banana, mate. Right in front. But they can fight it out. Perhaps put another try on the board. But certainly not succumb like they did last weekend in Melbourne. Purcell brings Reeves back inside. He's tackled on the 20 metre line. Robinson for Barrett. Steps off the left foot. Looked to unload. Couldn't. Plenty of numbers out on the blind side as McGregor runs for the line. Too strong. The Illawarra captain crosses for his first of the night. I don't know about too strong, too quick. He was battling to get back to the 10 metres. Fritz it is. He sees him standing there. Says, I'm going to have a go at you. Straight through. Great speed off the mark from McGregor. Just watch Fritz here. McGregor gets out on the outside of him again. McGuinness overreads. Boom, you're touched. No, you're not. Brett Wharton was no chance to stop Paul McGregor from point blank range. Gave it his best shot. But when you get a man who's 100 kilograms up against a man who's probably about 85 or maybe even 80, I can tell you who's going to win block. So again, there's a discussion in the end goal. What a performance in the second half from the Steelers. I like it when McGregor goes looking for the football. We know that he's a class player. He'll kick it for sure. He bring it around? No, he can't. So another miss for Wishart, but the lead now, Illawarra 36, West 14. Looks for some support and finds it from Jared Mills. Yeah, good tackle from Robertson there. Mesha goes to the boot. And it goes oh. out. He's had a shock of the touchy. He was going to call it dead in goal. It's gone out about a metre from the corner flag, possibly less. How far behind is he? Look. <laughs> He's half the field away. Come on, mate. Get up with the play, Smokey. Steve Betts. The touch judge on that side. Inside the final five minutes at Wynn Stadium. Part, part, over 20. And it's just 20. now starting over to get a little sloppy. We've been entertained for Go. three quarters of this match. Oh, There's some very it. tired men out there. I've enjoyed this game. Worth the trip down. <laughs> Barrett, they're going to run it from their own line. McGregor steps inside, beats Jones. He's got wide open spaces in front of him. Steps inside Wharton. Can he put the fend on? Gets the pass away. That could have been a brilliant try. Barrett will play it. Spread the ball to their right. Goes through the hands. It comes back to McGregor. He's taken high. Dragged down. He'll want to play it quickly. Five metres out from the Magpie line. It comes from Simon to Robinson. Bradstreet. Back inside for Wishart, he'll score. He's been so close all evening. And finally, the Illawarra veteran crosses for a try. Well, they went one play a little bit later. McGregor chose to step off the right foot and step up there and try and score the try himself. And then they spread the ball wide. Here's the initial break now from McGregor. Oh. Some poor attempt to tackle. How good is he? 
There's about 200 magpies around him in a minute, but he offloads the football with a one-hander. Watch this. Here he goes, three in the tackle. Barrett on his outside. What a combination. A quick play the ball. There's the tackle just before the play. I thought they should have went right straight away from that play the ball. <laughs> What's he laughing at? <laughs> He's having a bit of a joke with Jerry Mesher, who I'm not quite sure saw the joke. Good pass. That's Bristow on. And no scramble now from the Western Suburbs side. As Sean Garlic said, they're out on their feet. Wishart, he knows how to score them. Just straight back on the inside. A very hard man to stop. Good interchange work here. Bristow, number 20. This is the ball here. Lamey and Bradstreet. Bradstreet attracts the defence out wide, brings Wishart back inside. And that's about as simple a try as Rod Wishart will score his 67th. I think, it was, I think it's a shame. I don't think the scoreboard really reflects the game. It does, it does the second half, but not, not the effort the Magpies put in the first half. Here's Wishart now. And he's kicked it. <laughs> Are you sure about that, boys? 42 points to 14 at Wynn Stadium. The Steelers starting to lap the Magpies. Of course, you've got to remember, too, that the Magpies haven't added to their score in the second half. A group of teams as will uh, have the restart. In fact, they're all in. Stay out! Stay out! Touchy in. Someone's on his back. It's Nick Edwards. It'll be Fritz who will be called out. They're going to play the knock on. The sledging going on. Yeah, just get on with the game. It's Jonathan Britton taking the ball. Is it high from Fritz? Came off his shoulder, I would say. Just get your arms down the tackle. Come in here. Have a scrum. And Kennedy, who was so dominant in the first 40 minutes, has been kept quiet in the second. Fritz. He picks up five metres inside the Steelers' 10-metre line. They work it back to the blind side. They switch the play. McGinnis steps off the right foot, straight through the gap. And on the final siren, the Magpies will score. Well, they're the two boys. They had to get the football, too. If they control possession in the second half, they showed what they can do. Finally, they go wide to McGinnis after a good go forward by Kennedy. The switch of play. It's the first real set that they've controlled. A little right foot step. We waited 40 minutes in the second half for the Magpies to show us what they can do. The switch of play came from Jones. Beautiful pass. McGinnis stepped off the right foot. And he had about a 15 metre run to the line. Well, they'll have a good match up next week too. Steelers take on St George at Cogra. Ooh. Straight between the uprights. Two more points come to Brett Wharton and the Western Suburbs Magpies. Oh, but far, far too late. The final score here is 42 points to 20. Brad Mackay has been one of the Steelers' best this evening. The Steelers are the champions of the Illawarra When they got hold of the ball The opposition will fall